Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. His Excellency, Honorable President Erdogan, His Excellency, Honorable Prime Minister Imran Khan, Excellency Rusar Pikan, Minister for Trade, distinguished guests, members of the business community of both the countries, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. To all our friends from Turkey, we welcome you to your second home. We have gathered here to discuss investments and trade. For the last two days, these two days, we've been meeting on the B2B, and this morning we got together and had another round of discussions where the government of Pakistan presented their uh, potentials in Pakistan, and the Turkish business people gave their experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, the two leaders of the country have agreed on a strategic economic framework, which is an all-encompassing uh, agreement, which includes trade and investment, tourism, defense, and education. What we are witnessing today is just one step in that all-encompassing uh, agreement uh, to implement what we have uh, got written in the uh, framework. Yesterday, I had the opportunity of meeting most of the uh, Turkish A very, very constructive round of discussions. We have people here from the construction, engineering, IT, mining, tourism, all aspects of the business, and it was indeed a pleasure to witness that understandings have been raised, uh, made between our two uh, people, and inshallah, we will be able to take the step further forward. While the B2B was going on, at the same time, we had the joint venture, the joint uh, working group meeting between the two governments. Ladies and gentlemen, the Turkish uh, government sent a dele working delegation on the 16th and 17th of January, where we brought out and wrote out a framework. As a follow-up to that uh, understanding, uh, Madam. Um, Trade Minister and myself, we had a meeting in Davos, and uh, we agreed and took this matter further forward. And yesterday, as a final follow-up, we have now signed an understanding on the way forward. <laughs> that understanding includes that both sides will do a scoping study as to what is the relative strength of each of them. And uh, we will again, we, we've decided that the scoping study will be completed by the end of March. And then in April, we will take the next step in starting to negotiate the um, uh, FTA, which uh, has been pending uh, for a while. We will also uh, be looking at how to get our uh, further business in uh, the textile side. And we are very grateful to uh, the Madam uh, Minister that she has agreed that a textile delegation will go to Turkey and we will look at um, uh, how to further the business. Fellow businessmen and women, we have a great opportunity to work together. We do compete, but like good brothers, there is no harm in understanding each other's position and be able 
to take matters forward in areas that we all, we both uh, excel in. Pakistan has just signed a, uh, a free trade agreement with China, and I invite the business community of Turkey to come to Pakistan, form joint ventures, and let us collectively uh, look at that opportunity that we have got in China, because we are now equivalent to being an ASEAN country, so Pakistan becomes the closest ASEAN country to Turkey. And we hope that we will be able to uh, 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 take that further forward. There were many companies here on construction, and we look forward to in engaging the um, uh, Turkish companies in various BOTs uh, that are being uh, coming in the next, uh, in the coming months. In the, in the area of IT, I think there's a lot of synergy between us, and I hope that we will be able to um, uh, even uh, take that forward. As a testimony of our friendship, we have reached out to Turkey to help us in uh, halal accreditation, which they have agreed, and also help us uh, and cooperate with us on uh, our uh, understanding better on the customs uh, implementation and facilitation. I would like to also take this opportunity to thank Mr. Nial Olpak of the uh, of DEET, Mr. Ahmed Changez of the Turkish Park Friendship uh, Council, and also Mr. Anjum Nisar of the Federation uh, of Pakistan Chamber of uh, Commerce and Industries. Your support, your ideas that you gave yesterday are most enlightening, and we are very, very grateful to you. To conclude, Mr. President, your visit to us is certainly a great source of uh, an enlightenment, and we hope that this will lead to a far greater and bigger footprint of investments in Pakistan and more and more trade between our two countries. We have, we, we have the two leaders before us, and in front of them, I would like to say the relationship between our two countries is excellent. Now, I appeal to the business community of both the countries, the men and women of business, to come forward and take our investments and trade level to a level that is worthy of the, the close relationship that we have. It is a challenge for business community, and let us all hold hands, go forward, and meet that challenge. Thank you very much.